more four times okay this is four this is five this is six this is seven no not seven it's minus okay this is four five six and minus four five six and minus okay it's just a hyphen as you all know brick a brick let's see what's there in the firefox yeah you can see there are all these buttons up there and plus and minus are also there okay you see the numbers are one of the other but the symbols should be distinguished from the numbers so i have added a space before and after the plus let's go ahead and edit the code further space is four times more this is seven this is eight this is nine and this is times right times because this is the this will be the product value nine seven eight nine and this will be a uh, asterisk because the symbol for multiplication is not cross a we use we humans use cross more frequently but the symbol is not a cross but a uh, asterisk in computer language okay next let's save it and let's see what's there in firefox yeah we get asterisk code too okay paste it further more four times this will be c this will be zero and the most important thing this will be the equal to okay and there is two more things division and decimal okay okay so here we start with decimal there is a division there is here we will edit this later because it's a complicated thing and we have zero and we have nothing and we'll remove this plus because we want to replace when the user presses the button C as clear all. We want to replace everything with nothing. Okay. This will be called as clear. This is the zero. Okay, this is the equals or may I name it as do it. It's a funny name. This is uh, we'll name it as div and this will name as deck. Okay, now the most important part comes in here okay in the equals 
so what will be the value calc dot input value will remove these everything okay equal to what the values will change or not okay so we'll see calc value okay document dot calc dot input dot value okay so what this will do basically it will equate the whole thing equate the whole thing now let's save it and let's see what's going on in Firefox okay everything is working fine okay now we need some more things that are there to add in this PHP file after that we'll be ready with our calculator which will perform the functions okay not ready with styling but it will perform all the functions that we require it to perform okay. let's go ahead and uh, prepare some more things that we need okay we have created the decimal so we'll end the TD here okay we have already ended okay and we are also ending the TR here and we are also ending the table here. Okay. Now we are going to create two hidden fields okay. inside the form. Input type is form. Name we don't want to give give name. Okay, type we don't want actually. We want a name. Name will be Form. After that, uh, type we do want. Type will be hidden, and there is some value that we need to put. Okay, so the value will be nothing but value will be nothing but a PHP script. Okay echo echo what will echo dollar get form it will get the data from the form okay it will get the data from the form so this is the first php script and next thing next input field the type will again be hidden name will be field no not okay and the value will be again php script okay again echo something echo it will get the value from the field okay from the fields it will get the value and it will echo it okay now this is the only amount of PHP script that is there in this whole document and for this we had to create a PHP file no other options we could have created a HTML file but no there are no options because the PHP is not executed in HTML but HTML is of course executed with PHP okay with this we come to an end with index.php now let's see the result we can't see anything because these fields fields that we just created are hidden okay now we'll do we'll create a new file okay and 
replace this file here itself okay and we'll save it because as long we don't as long as we don't save it it will not give us the notifications okay save it as script for chase that is the javascript file okay. now we are going to create the javascript file very patiently very carefully because if there is a mistake it will not work okay function okay calc value okay okay uh, you may be remembering that we had the specific thing here calc value okay we're defining this that thing okay just we're defining that thing okay there will be a variable x which it will evaluate okay what it will evaluate document dot calc dot input dot value okay okay it will evaluate this now the next thing there will be a variable y which will round of something maths dot round okay x asterisk 10,000 and by 10,000 okay we all know that if I multiply this number by the same thing and divided by same thing the number remains the same return y okay so after function we need to put a curly braces and after the function ends we need to put brace ending curly brace let's save it and let's see if our calculator works or not if it works now that means we have completed if it doesn't work that means there is some mistake okay let's clear everything let's do simple calculation 1 plus 1 equals 2 okay so our calculator is working perfectly normal everything we can check 2.1 plus 6 we get 8.1 multiplied by 5 we get 40.5 multiplied by 9 we get 33 for 64 by 5 divided by 9 